Live from Boston, Massachusetts, extracting the signal from the noise, it's The Cube, covering Red Hat Summit 2015. Brought to you by Red Hat. Now your host, Dave Vellante. Everybody, we're back. Welcome to uh, Red Hat Summit. This is the Cube. We got a special segment. Dean Yao is here. He's with J Report. Very interesting uh, company doing embedded visualization. Welcome to the Cube. Thanks for coming on. Thanks Dean. a lot. I appreciate it. All right. So I had not heard of J Report before. Sure. Uh, one of our guys was walking the floor. Found you guys. Found an interesting story. So, what are you guys all about? Yeah, so it's funny you said you haven't heard of us because we are white labeled oftentimes. Uh, we work a lot with ISVs, uh, and we actually embed reporting functionality, dashboard functionality, data visualization, data analysis into ISV applications for them to provide their services to their customers. Uh, we have a reporting engine called JReport Server, and uh, yeah, we've been around for about uh, 17 years. Now, you're, the company's based in Maryland, you're based in San Francisco. Right. So you're in the heart of Silicon Valley, and sure, right. you got a PhD but you're in marketing, <laughs> how'd that all come about? Yeah, you, you're, uh, you noticed that on my business card. So uh, yeah, I, I had a background in uh, engineering, I uh, went to USC for a, a PhD in computer science, worked at some great companies, Intel, learned a lot, VMware, uh, shifted in marketing uh, around that time and to uh, stay with it. I like to understand how businesses make money, um, and uh, yeah, it's been a, a great experience ever since. So I want to pick your brain on the industry, because you've sure. got a good perspective being in San Francisco, but before we do that, let's. Let's stay on J Report for, for a little bit. So talk more about what you guys, when I heard it, I said, oh, you like Tableau and Click, and your answer was, well, no, those guys are more enterprise, we're embedded. Ex explain more what you do and how you're different from those other companies. Sure, so our heritage from the very beginning, back in 1998, was an embeddable reporting, and that's still our focus. Uh, but we were, we were able to uh, build out a foundational reporting engine for the past 10 years, and really make that rock solid and bulletproof. That is a foundation for what makes everything else possible. We have now enhancements in visualization, uh, dashboarding technology, analysis and an analytics te uh, technology, but it's all cored on that uh, foundational reporting element. So folks like uh, Tableau are awesome at visualization, uh, but we are uh, focused, still focused on the embeddable aspects of reporting, analytics, and dashboards into other applications. So. Well, is it fair to say you're more of, a, of an Internet of Things play? I mean, that's a tailwind for you? Or? We actually work with some Internet of Things uh, vendors as data sources. We actually uh, work with a lot of different types of databases, data warehouses, Hadoop vendors, uh, NoSQL databases, and now with Internet of Things, IoT vendors as well. So talk more about the tech I I itself. What's, what's the secret sauce behind it? Maybe you could describe it a little bit. Right, so the secret sauce really is in the robustness, the performance of our reporting engine, JReport. You can cluster that out, it's uh, scalable, uh, has no single points of failure, and also it's in ease of use, self-serviceability. So we don't cater to per se the, the data scientists, uh, we, we uh, cater to the business users that actually want to create reports, dashboards, do their own analysis, uh, not as 100% of their job, but occasionally when they need it. So they need to be able to self-service the work that they need done immediately right away without having to bother anybody else. That's kind of the holy grail of, of big data is, you know, BI for the masses, although we don't like to call it BI because BI, BI sucks. I mean, so, <laughs> so but, but whatever you want, to, visualization, analytics, you know, for a, a modern world. So, so your consumer is the business user typically? Right, business users, power users, folks that really need to create reports. Um, of course we, had can, we have can reports capabilities, uh, but really our strength is the ability for the end user to create what they need. Now you just had an event, was it last week, last night, with uh, Cisco and MapR, what was that all about? Right, we had an event, uh, I spoke at an event, uh, the MapR conference is called Big Data Everywhere, so we're starting to see much more big data requirements from our customers. Uh, traditionally we've been working with transactional data, and that's still a large part of our business, relational databases, but everybody knows the growth of semi-structured and unstructured data, and a lot of the big data vendors, NoSQL databases, Hadoop databases, are really great at storing that. Well, what good is it to store that data if you can't get it into the hands of your end users to be able to decipher that, analyze that data, and make business decisions out of that data? So we work with MapR and other companies to be able to work with their technologies to most efficiently pull out that data and be able to give that data to end users to be able to, to visualize and make decisions out of that data. And you're saying, uh, you're primarily working with, with transaction data, Dean. Uh, um, look, 
Oracle databases, uh, SQL Oracle Server? databases, SQL Servers, MySQL, you know, the big names, uh, you know, you name it, we work with anyone that we can connect to, standard interfaces, JDBC, ODBC, and even some native, native connectors that we've built. And you're data type agnostic, it sounds like, right? I mean, right. Okay, yep. so, so that, you say, the unstructured stuff is a tailwind uh, for you. I, I want to pick your brain about, uh, so you're talking, of, you're talking with, well, first of all, what did you talk about? Uh, at, 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 what was your talk? your speech about? It was embedded data visualization in a Hadoop environment. Okay, so you were sort of explaining your company, what you guys did, why yep. it's important, showed yep. some examples, yep. pretty pictures, I'm sure. Pretty pictures, Some cool yeah. stuff, okay, great. What do you take on what's happening in big data, Hadoop? You know, we've seen sort of the what is it, you know, to how can I use it, to well, I have one, now how do I get ROI to, it's like taking over my data warehouse. Uh, and then boom, Spark comes in. And everybody's saying, okay, Spark is going to replace Hadoop. Oh, no, it's not. So help us, give us give us your perspective. You live in San Francisco, you follow this stuff. Right, right. What's so, going on? So, you know, lots of activity going on with big data. Uh, everyone defines it in a slightly different way. Um, but what we see it is as, as uh, you know, you have the key players in big data, you have the great technologies. It's all driven by a lot of these open source technologies, Hadoop being a big one. Of course, NoSQL databases with many different variants. I mean, you have your column databases, you have your graph, uh, you have your uh, document-based uh, NoSQL databases. So we take all of that data. It doesn't really matter what type of big data source it is, but we're able to extract data either through, through interfaces like Hive or Apache Drill, um, and, or even native connectors that we talk to their APIs. For example, MongoDB, we've built a native connector to talk to their aggregation framework API. Um, it doesn't really matter. What we see it is that the NoSQL databases are really great at online data, real-time data. So those are your sort of newer types of relational databases. We can, we can grab those data, display them in real time, or even detail level reports, you know, line by line transactional detail level reports. And we talk to Hadoop data sources, we treat those like as data warehouses or data marts. Uh, and we pull those, they're very good at batch processing, very good at um, uh, large scale data storage and data processing. And it's a, it's a great way to, to visualize that stuff in a, in a, in a data, um, in a BI tool like JReport. So we see them as uh, complementary technologies. A lot of customers are actually using both NoSQL databases and Hadoop in the same environment uh, for different purposes. Well, and really it was Cloudera's introduction of Impala and subsequent shipment that sort of changed the world of big data or Hadoop, bringing, you know, SQL is now the killer app for, for, for big data. Right, and, and uh, you can't expect everyone to overnight start changing their SQL uh, structure, SQL statements to something else. I mean, people are used to speaking in SQL, right? So they have to be able to support those types of uh, um, uh, interfaces. Well, the problem, the big problem with, with Hadoop is it's overwhelming complexity, and in a way, you provide you know, a, a part of the answer to that problem through, right. through visualization. Right, um, right. What about Spark? You know, big trend, last week, Spark Summit. Um, a lot of people saying it'll simplify. Hadoop, you know, tremendously. A lot of people saying it's going to replace Hadoop. What's your take? Yeah, I mean, I don't think uh, I don't think Hadoop is going. Uh, it's going to be replaced anytime soon. I mean, there's been a lot of uh, companies actually investing a lot in Hadoop technologies. Certainly, Spark is a is, is definitely uh, another complementary technology. You know, might you know we'll, we'll see how that uh, plays out in the industry. But uh, as far as I see it, Hadoop has has made some inroads in a lot of deployments that I don't see it being displaced very easily anytime soon. Do you have like direct competitors? Who do you consider your direct competitors? Of course we have direct competitors. Um, That's a good so, thing. Yeah, <laughs> so we are a Java-based shop, right? All of our software is written in Java. So we have competitors on the .NET side. Logi Analytics is a competitor. Uh, some of our competitors have been uh, acquired by their companies. Uh, Jaspersoft certainly has been oh, okay. uh, acquired by Tipco. So you know, those are the kind of the common names we see uh, in, in deals. I see. Uh, and tell us, tell me, tell us more about the company. Uh, how big are you? VC funded? You talk about so it's way. interesting. Uh, we've been privately held, privately funded ever since 1998, uh, which allows us to maintain steady growth. We're not going to have layoffs. We're not going to have uh, uh, you know huge amounts of uh, uh, growth, any you know, and spikes in growth. But it, it's a steady growth. So uh, we're about 150 people, and uh, yeah, we've been sizable. Yeah, awesome. Across different countries in the so world. So what do you got going on at the show? Yeah, we have, we're sponsoring here, and it's been uh, great talking to analysts, uh, potential prospects, 
uh, a lot of our partners are actually here as well. So it's been great talking to you guys as well. So fantastic. Well, Gene, yeah. thanks very much for coming on the cube. And thanks for having really me. Appreciate the update, and uh, we'll be watching. Great, great. Thanks a lot. Appreciate All right. it. Good. All right. You're welcome. Let's keep it right there, buddy. Uh, we'll be back with our next guest, Dave Vellante with Stu Miniman. We're live at Red Hat Summit. This is the Cube. We'll be right back.